This is a great question and a common point of confusion for both patients and doctors. A video where I'm talking about polycythemia vera and mutations in the JAK2 gene. There's two categories of genetic mutations that we talk about, particularly in cancer medicine, and these are germline mutations, also called constitutional mutations, and this means mutations that you inherited from one or both of your parents and that you were born with. Somatic mutations are mutations that were acquired after birth, often later in life, and they occurred only in uh, one organ or one tissue area, the tumor tissue, um, or in the case of polycythemia vera, the hematopoietic stem cell. About 95% of cases of polycythemia vera are associated with a somatic or non-inherited mutation in the JAK2 gene, specifically JAK2 V617F gene mutation. Another three-ish percent of cases will be associated with somatic mutations in uh, JAK2 exon 12. Now, familial erythrocytosis or familial polycythemia um, is associated with mutations in JAK2 in some cases, but not V617F or exon 12. Specifically, JAK2 R867Q, which is located on exon 19, um, is a rare familial polycythemia. In general, the B617F mutation does not run in families. It is not an inherited mutation. But how do you figure it out? If you want to know if a mutation that you found in tumor tissue or bone marrow tissue that uh, was obtained is somatic or inherited, well, what you do is you acquire normal tissue or tissue that is not from that tumor tissue origin, um, and you run genetic testing on that and compare. So most commonly this will be skin fibroblast tissue or a nail clipping. And what you expect to see in a case of polycythemia vera with the V617F JAK2 Jack mutation would be that that um, other normal tissue does not have that mutation. By contrast, in patients with a heritable um, mutation, a germline mutation, so for example, a BRCA1 or BRCA2 mutation, which we see in patients with breast cancer and other types of cancer, um, you would find that mutation in every single cell that you checked in that patient. Hope that helps. Follow along if you have more questions about blood.